Most rat cages can be quite costly, which makes rat owners like myself look at other areas where they can save a few extra bucks. That's why in today's video, I want to present to you guys some dollar store items that you can buy to easily DIY some cheap cage accessories. A cheap and easy way to cover the platforms in your cage is to use bath mats. They're easy to cut up and customize, very absorbent, as well as aesthetically pleasing. This wouldn't be a video about cheap rat cage accessories without mentioning fleece. Although it's a widespread item that is often used in the rat community, I personally don't enjoy using it because it's not very absorbent, which in turn makes the cage smellier than it already is. Dishcloths are the perfect size to make hammocks. Not only are they absorbent, but they're also very easy to clean after long periods of use. Just make sure that the dishcloth you're buying doesn't contain any toxic cleaning agents. My favorite way to create cheap, original and aesthetically pleasing hammocks is by crocheting them. The reason why I'm using cloth yarn is because it's easier to put it in the washing machine and because it's such a thick fabric that their little feet don't get stuck in the knots like they would with regular yarn. I'm not a professional at crocheting, which is why I use tutorials on YouTube to make my hammocks. To recreate this igloo I made, I recommend the following video by Bag O' Day Crochet. All I did was make it smaller to fit my rats since the tutorial is originally for cats. To make squared hammocks, you can follow this tutorial. And to make triangular ones, you can follow this one. Once you've done some of these hammocks, you will naturally get used to crocheting and will be able to come up with your own patterns, which is where the real fun begins. A quick and easy way to make DIY hammocks is by reusing old t-shirts that you no longer use. One of my rat's favorite items are these small baskets. They're very cheap and easy to clean, which is always a plus with rats. Here you can see Remy enjoying his baskets. Bigger baskets or buckets are also a great way to create cheap hideouts that are easy to wipe down after extensive use. Cardboard and tissue boxes make for great hideouts that can be made into rat mansions for their cage or free roam space. Another way to use cardboard boxes is by cutting them up and stringing them together to make interesting foraging toys. Rope can be used to either string together foraging toys or to make a net like I'm doing here. Rats love to climb and it's also a great way to stop them from hurting themselves if they ever fall down from the top of their cage. Egg cartons can be used by simply adding food inside of them so that the ratties have to figure out how to chew themselves through so they get some yummy treats. I love to make foraging toys out of toilet paper rolls, since everyone has access to them and they're very cheap. I recommend checking out Ratopedia's video on how to make foraging toys out of toilet paper rolls, since that is where I got inspiration to make my own. The IKEA tie holder is a very widespread item in the rat community, as it's, once again, a great way to catch your rat if it ever accidentally falls from the top of the cage. My rat's by far most favorite item is this IKEA trash bag dispenser. It acts as an extra platform and the holes are a perfect size for rats to slip through without getting stuck. Especially now that it's summer, they prefer to lay out in the open instead of in their warm hammocks, so I've seen them mostly hang around there enjoying themselves. I know from personal experience how costly it can be to have rats. So if you're also a fellow rat owner, I hope that these DIYs not only make your rats happy, but also your wallet. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!